Hey guys, so John was supposed to be back from his fishing trip this morning and then he texted me and said that it snowed a bunch at Lake Mille Lacs and so he's gonna be late. And I was like, likely excuse. He says that he had to shovel out his ice house in the truck and that when it snows, the wind blows all the snow onto the lake and it accumulates. So yeah, we're just hanging out, waiting for John to get back. Hopefully he'll get back pretty soon now. I am thawing a chicken. I'm gonna cook that tonight and then make bone broth out of the bones. I did end up getting sick yesterday. I... Hello? Who is that? Oh my gosh, it's the cat. Simon, I thought the door was opening. It sounded like the door was opening, you crazy. What are you doing? What are you doing, Simon? Oh, hey, Harmony. How's it going? Hey, Har Harmony. I did end up getting a little sick yesterday. I was real achy everywhere and tired and I got a little bit of a cough, but I am feeling better today. When Iris first got sick, I gave my body a general speech. I was like, cells, we have been exposed to germs. Be on the lookout for invaders. Mm, so. Maybe that helped. Oh my gosh, this dog, every time I start vlogging, she's like, oh, let me come hang out with you. It doesn't seem like I got it as bad as everybody else. And you know moms, we still give all the snuggles even when our kids are sick. Look at this dog like straight up frolics. <laughs> 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 You're so funny. Don't hit me in the face again. Lola's complaining because she wants to go inside. There you go. Sorry, California Tuwawa. Where are you going? You're going to the bar? I'm Lola. It's so cold. I need a drink to warm me up. Iris is still pretty out of it. She's just been watching TV for the past few days. I feel bad because it's a lot of TV, but she doesn't seem to have a, a ton of energy. So hopefully she gets all better soon. Hey, get off my lap, Simon, cattail. I'm about to just eat a little lunch here before I cook that chicken for dinner later. Good old curry rice. Yeah, get it. This is me, Pepe. Nick, get it, you bet, get it! Rock-a-bye, baby, on the treetop. So that's what happens. She just takes all these random naps. All right, so I got my chicken going in the oven. It's got some French herbs and lemon pepper and garlic massaged onto it. I just called John and I was like, it's already seven o'clock you're, and you're not home yet. What is going on? And he's still fishing. Wow, wow. So after Iris has her snack, we're gonna make some crafts. I probably shouldn't have taken it out before she eats her oatmeal. But Iris, what are we gonna make? Twitter toilet paper. These don't work. Oh. Ah! What? Eh, bleh. Got glitter in my mouth. Ugh. Don't eat glitter. So Iris got this little craft kit for Christmas, so we're being a little creative today, busting yeah. it out. Yeah, we're just gonna make some necklaces and bracelets and for mom. Really? You're gonna make me a bracelet? That's nice. You have to help me though. Okay, I will. I also took out these toilet paper rolls and thought we could make little toilet paper bug creature things. So they got some pipe cleaner legs and then we can glue some googly eyes and different decorations and, and color with glitter glue on the side. I'm not the most DIY mom that's out there. I'm really not. As long as we're having fun, that's all that matters. I don't know how to get these glitter glue pens to work. Is there instructions? There's no instructions in here for a glitter pen. Who's your favorite mom? Your. Yes! Who's your favorite dad? Yeah, my dad. Hmm. Whoa, haunted house. Okay, I found out why these glitter pens are so hard to open. It's because they're not righty tighty lefty loosey, they're backwards. They're lefty tighty righty loosey. 
I don't know what's going on with these. Maybe they're from Australia or something where the toilets flow backwards. Oh, what you got going on over here? That's a cool necklace. Those are cool beads. They're like all sea creatures. Got turtles and seals and whales. That's awesome. Whoa, look at my new bracelet. Take that, Cartier. Uh-uh. That's mine too. We're, we're sharing the bracelet, right? Build on your seat. <gasps> I know. He shouldn't jump up on chairs and tables. Mm -hmm. So craft time just ended in disaster. Iris fell off of her chair and she's okay, but it was scary. So she was upset about falling off and I was comforting her. And then I tried to put chapstick on her because her lips are so chapped and she did not want chapstick and was very angry that I was trying to put chapstick on her. But she seems to be going through this phase where she doesn't want medicine or anything that can help her. When she was sick this last time, she she just refused any remedies that could help make her feel better. And I, I don't know why she's going through this all of a sudden, especially chapstick. She used to just love putting chapstick on. She would put it on over and over again. And uh, she doesn't want me to put it on her chapped lips. Like, has anyone else's kids gone through that around four years old? I, I don't know if it's, you know, just a phase or what. But now she's tired, so she's watching the iPad in bed for a little bit. And when she falls asleep, I'm gonna put chapstick on her lips. In other news, I think my chicken is done. Nice crispy outside. Just kidding, still pink in the middle. I don't think she missed you at all. No, no, I think she missed her more than she missed me. <laughs> Actually, who knows? Oh. oh my god. Yeah, she's just going nuts. I wear shorts. Oh, I was doing some laundry. You're home late. There you go, Lola. You could actually like, get up to go say hi instead of just barking. <laughs> it's a lot of time to get home from Lax. Two hour drive. Oh my gosh. Hi. Standing by the fire. Cold. Warming, warming your butt. It's cold outside. Mm -hmm. I gotta take a shower too. I think you used the snow as an excuse to fish more. No. Mm. Don't think oh, so. really? Oh, really? Uh, I don't. I don't believe that. That's the biggest bit. wall I've ever seen in my life, though. Really? Yeah, I lost it at the bottom of the hole. How do you know it was that big if you didn't catch it? Because I lost it at the bottom of the hole. Could you, you see it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so, I don't know. So, why would I say that I lost the biggest wall in my life if I? Why would I say if I couldn't see it? Well, maybe you yeah, felt I it cried. cool. No, well, I did. And I was like, oh my god, this is gigantic, and it was, and I missed it. Hmm. I'm wondering if John has some fish in that bag. Why are you smelling that cooler, Bill?